Kenneth, Reginald, Stephen, Hanks. Who is he? Nobody knows who he is. So I changed my name by depot to Dancing Ken Hanks because you cannot put a nickname on an official form. documentary in the house at the moment with the cameras and that. Uh, possibly, yeah. Uh, is there another one of those, can we do a survey? <laughs> Sometimes I relent and uh, it's a bit like this one time. Sometimes I do take the challenge on because, you know, you get, so just to the devil in me, I suppose. <laughs> Over the years, I've danced everywhere and anywhere. You name it. My type of dancing is for everybody, not just the limited, pe limited few. My dancing is for disabled people. They can dance to it. Children who are able to walk two years old, they can dance to it. Old ladies on their zimmers, they could dance to it. And uh, I've got friends who dance in their wheelchairs. Yeah, no, dancing should be for everybody. I remember one jazz musician once. He said, Ken, you make music with your feet. I've been accused of inventing dirty dancing because I used to do all the, the uh, what should we say, um, movements which are rather sexual such as wriggling your hips and all this and that last night right this crowd come in and we we're all going there and there's one chap there and he, he was very good he was very good but he'd done about three dances and uh, he had to sit down and have a rest i don't sit down Have done it. <laughs> oh, sorry about that. That's alright, it's alright. Carry on. Carry on. <laughs> I've known Ken a long, long time. And uh, this song is definitely his. And it's called A Legend in My Time. And he is. He's a legend in his own time. see this piece of wood right now I picked that up off the side of the road where they were trimming out this hedge and I call that natural art 
nobody made it to be art, but it's just natural. It's like, I've got another one here, which I could show you, like driftwood. But this is my very first one that I picked up in the hedgerow 20 or 30 years ago now. Well, it must be 30 years ago. And when, when I seen it straight away, I could see, to me, it seemed like a bird, a chicken or a cockerel or something. And that is exactly as I found it. So, you know, that's, that's what I call natural art. Here's another, well, no, I, did, I didn't pick this up at the edge. I bought it at some sale. But I thought to myself, somebody went to the trouble to make that. It may not be, you know, Sotheby sort of job, but it's fascinating. I said, look, I stand here as a monster raving loony. I said, I know I'm loony, but can you answer me a question? When a judge says, we're going to give you two life sentences, I said, I know I'm a loony, but I thought we only had one life. And I still stick to that. I mean, ridiculous. What I wanted was free public transport, local transport for everybody. I want knives to be ba made without blades. Moving pavements down the high street. Motorised shoes for the elderly. But if we can send a man to the moon, surely we can build a battle-proof toilet. Yeah. But nobody ever put me down because underneath all my makeup, as you might say, there is something ticking up here. And so I gave them, I gave them a run for their money, yeah. This is my talking newspaper. And of 36 years with scissors. No, well that's a, an 82 year old, eight, woman, -year -old woman trying to get a run for with scissors. Of attempting to murder her husband with a pair of scissors. <laughs> Can't be bad, can it, for 82? Yeah. No, I, I expect her mind is blown, you know. Mm. That's the trouble. As I say, I was saying just now, you see, you can't guarantee all your bits and pieces are going to make the grade. So my advice to everybody is to do it while you're young, because you won't do it when you're old. You see, when I first started doing my bit, we're talking about... 40 years ago, right? For a man to dance on his own in those days was absolutely ridiculous. You know, you just didn't I had to wear two, well, I used to wear two earrings in each ear. But once the people realized that I did a lot of charity work, they used to say, oh, Leave him alone, he's all right. So the charity helped me dance, and the dance helped me make money for charity. So it worked both ways. I enjoy it. I enjoy helping people. And most disabled people are very grateful, you know? But I think you get out, you get just as much out of it as they do. Definitely. <laughs> Happy birthday to you, happy birthday to you, happy birthday dear Ken, dancing Ken, happy birthday to you. And it's such a pleasure being here to show your birthday, can I say them? Thank you. It's always a pleasure when I get the chance. <laughs>